C-Ring Operations Water transfer operations use many different sizes of C-Rings. C-Rings have been engineered to withstand the pressures and operational tolerances of challenging environments, and you have to know the hazards of working around them. Welcome to the Energy Safety Canada video series on surface water transfer operations. This module focuses on working around C-Rings. C-Rings are temporary bulk storage tanks for water and fluids. They generally hold volumes in excess of 3,000 cubic meters. For reference, an Olympic-sized swimming pool is only 2,500 cubic meters. Planning. Planning and positioning of C-Rings are dependent on the location as per the job plan. Positioning and distance to hazards needs to be considered, as does the grade of the ground and how rough the ground is, avoiding sharp rocks and obstructions. Every site will need varying degrees of site preparation prior to installation. This is the foundation for the tank and must support a huge amount of weight. Specialized engineering and heavy equipment is used for this purpose. This means a lot of activity and potential for line of fire incidents. Poor preparation has the potential to compromise integrity and lead to catastrophic failure of the C-ring. Mobilization and transport. Due to the size of the C-ring equipment, it takes many loads to mobilize and set up. Proper planning and staging of equipment will ensure a safe work site. Be aware of moving vehicles, blind spots and no-go zones. Good communication between drivers and spotters is necessary. Be sure to have a common set of hand signals as well as working radios. Please refer to the Energy Safety Canada hand signals information. Liners, slips and falls. Once the ground is prepared, the next step in building the C-ring is rolling out the liner. The liner is heavy and requires specialized equipment or manpower for deployment. The liner is quite slick and care must be taken walking across and around it. A number of slips and falls have happened on the liners, as well as strains and sprains. The best way to avoid strains and sprains is to stretch and warm up prior to work and use mechanical aids and teamwork when possible. Cleats cannot be worn as they will damage the rubber, create holes and subsequent leaks. Setup and equipment. Panels are used for the structure of the side walls of the tank and typically are pinned together. Crane pickers and moving equipment are used to place and assemble the panels. There are hazards of being struck by moving equipment, elevated loads, or being caught between objects, so be aware. Use taglines and establish clear communication between spotters and equipment operators. There are hazards for working at heights with man baskets or lifts and concurrent moving equipment. Working with suspended loads creates pinch points and crush zones as additional hazards. Any equipment used for lifting and hoisting must be engineered and certified for that purpose. Confined space. The inside of the C-ring is a confined space because of the lack of easy access or egress. Once filled with water, there is absolutely no access allowed to the inside of the C-ring. The liner is impossible to hold onto and poses a significant drowning hazard. Pipe work and startup. The connection of the hoses from the final stage of pipe is connected, which directs the fluid over the panels and into the C-ring. Several different types of connections could be in use. ANSI, cam locks, and lay-flat hose connections can all be utilized. It is important to know the connections and to inspect the valves for proper function and operation. Remember that rapid closing of valves can lead to water hammer effect and potential dangerous releases. Operations. Once the system is set up and running, fluid supply to the end user needs to be constantly monitored to ensure fluid rates and availability. It is a good practice to have level alarms on the C-ring to indicate high or low volume levels and alert personnel to potential operational problems. A clear line of communication between the end user and the source needs to be established. Under special circumstances, produced water may be stored in the C-ring. Various regulatory and permitting requirements must be in place. Special HSE considerations need to be examined and implemented. Worker protection may also be an issue. Follow all company-specific safe work practices for hygiene and exposure control. 
C-rings are an integral piece of equipment used to supply water. Be aware of the risks of using this equipment.